Hello. Welcome to Canadian's News Hub, where we delve into the heart of the hockey world that beats strongest in Montreal. Montreal is more than just a city with a hockey team. It's a place where the sport is woven into the very fabric of life. The demands for greatness have been set by generations of passionate fans who see the Montreal Canadiens not just as a team, but as an institution, almost like a religion in the province of Quebec. With a history peppered with Stanley Cup victories, this team has become synonymous with excellence. However, this legacy of success comes with its own burdens. The pressure to perform under the weight of expectations is immense, not just for the players but for the entire organization. This pressure has been a defining factor for the Canadians, affecting everything from attracting free agents to developing young talent. Take Jonathan Druin, for example. Hailed as the next great francophone star, he struggled to live up to the lofty expectations placed upon him while wearing the Canadian sweater. The criticism he faced was relentless, and it took a toll on his performance and mental well-being. However, since leaving Montreal and joining the Colorado Avalanche, Druin has experienced a resurgence in form, showcasing his talent without the weight of expectation bearing down on him. Druin's story is not unique. Players like Philip Danault have also felt the immense pressure of playing for the Canadians. Danault spoke about the challenges of tuning out external voices and maintaining focus amidst the scrutiny. Ultimately, he made the decision to leave Montreal for the Los Angeles Kings. The Montreal Canadiens are more than just a hockey team. They are a symbol of pride and passion for an entire city. But with that pride comes a heavy burden of expectation, one that not every player can bear. As the team continues to strive for greatness, it's essential to remember the human element behind the game and the toll that constant pressure can take. Go Haps go!